This is just a quick tutorial on how to use your Garmin Multisport watch for swimming and how to use the drill and the rest mode on it to get accurate mileage whilst you're actually doing your swim. So this is a Garmin Fenix 5 watch but the same um, goes for most of the old Forerunner watches, any of the newer Fenix watches and most of the watches that turn themselves as multi-sport watches. So the first thing we do is go to swim mode. It has to be a pool swim mode, um, open water mode works differently. So select pool swim mode, make sure if you go to options, make sure that you have the um, setup for the right pool size. So 25 meters is what most of us swim in, um, although the Lido um, in St Albans that some of us use is 32, so that's why you can change that in here. If we go back, when you start a swim session, um, the basic um, fields of view that you have here are the first one will have your interval and interval distance on. Um, the second one, if you scroll down, will be your timer and distance. If you scroll down again, you might have heart rate on there and you have drill log. Um, depending on how you've got your watch set up, you could have five, six, seven, even eight kind of different screens on here. I have mine set quite basic. So I'm going to start my swim. So when I kick off to start my swim, I press go and I start swimming along happily, happily. As I stop at the end and kick off or tumble turn, whatever way I turn, the accelerometer in the watch knows that you've turned around and then interval distance will hit 25 or 32, whatever pool you're in. So as you're swimming up and down, if you don't pause or stop, you're just tumble turning or touch turning, you don't need to do anything. As soon as you pause in your workout, so you're gonna have say maybe a 15 second rest interval between some reps, you don't press the stop button here. Lab 132. <laughs> I should have turned that off on my uh, phone. You don't press the stop button because if you press the stop button, what it does, it brings, it actually stops the session rather than putting you into rest mode. And you haven't actually stopped your session, you're just resting. So the watch needs to know that you're resting and not swimming, otherwise it starts calculating weird distances. So if you move your arm under the water, it might think you've done a tumble turn and add an extra bit of um, distance on. So <clears throat> I'll restart it again. So just ignore the fact that I had pressed stop there. So I've head off, I've done another two or three lengths. I come to pause for 20 seconds at the end of the length. I press the bottom right button. So it's the lap button. Lap 213. When I press that button, what happens? It goes into rest mode. And as you can see on the rest mode, it shows you the interval time at the top. So that is the um, interval that you've just done here. So that was a 13 second interval. Rest timer. So if you're on 20 seconds rest, this is where you look at your rest. You have the repeat on timer, which is um, if you're doing, say you're doing 200 meter reps and you're doing 200 meters on a turnaround of three minutes 30, that's what you would do. You'd look at the repeat on and then obviously the interval distance. You can scroll down through here and see other bits if you want to. You might want to see your total. This is what I quite often look for is my total um, distance um, as you're swimming because you might want to keep tabs on what your actual total is. So from the rest screen here, when you're then ready to kick off again, so I've now had 55 seconds rest, nice generous rest. When you're ready to kick off again, you press the bottom right button again and it takes, three, you, one minute. it takes you back into work mode. So this is swimming mode. So if you think of your watch as having two modes when you're swimming, it's either swimming mode, how it is now, or when you press the bottom button, rest Lab mode. 413. And it will change between white screen to black screen. So you can very clearly, even when you're underwater, you can see if you've forgotten to press that. So now it takes us on to doing drills. This is just for doing normal swim laps. Lab 514. When you're doing drills, um, what you need to do, because if you were doing, say, for example, a one arm drill, so if you were doing single arms, if you're wearing your watch on your right arm and you're swimming with your left arm, your watch doesn't know you're swimming because it's not actually um, able to, the accelerometers aren't actually detect the stroke. So it wouldn't count. Same as if you're doing kick drills, it won't count the drills properly. So before we set off, when we're in rest mode... Lab 626. We've stopped at the wall and we're in rest mode. We want to kick off and do drills. You press the down button to get onto what is called drill mode. Here you see drill log. 
So when you press drill log, it means you're manually going to tell it how many meters you did rather than it knowing that you've turned around on 25 meters each lap. So press lap to begin. So lap it. Lap 723. You go off and do however many drills you want to do. It might be a, um, like a two lengths of um, single arm drill or one length of single arm and then one length of front free crawl. When you um, get to the end, you then press it again. So I've just done 50 metres. It comes up at this point. You can scroll up or down and tell it how many metres you did. So I did 50 metres. So press 50 metres and then um, hit the OK button. Lap 8, 16. It now puts you onto um, drill mode again. So again, I'm going to kick off. Press Lap 9, 19. I am going to do um, 200 metres of mixed drills without stopping. So 200 metres of mixed drills without stopping. Keep going, keep going. Once I've done my 200 metres and I'm finished, press this button and then scroll up to where it says 200 metres and select 200 metres. Lap 10, 14. This now means when we go through and look at our interval distance, it's done our interval distance is 200 metres instead of whatever else it might have picked up from, from me doing the drills. And then you can just come out of drill mode again. So drill mode's at the bottom. If you just go up again, you're back into your normal modes. Lap 11.25. Where it will just count and then count down um, as each time you turn. So remember, th three key things. First thing is when you rest, you don't stop your watch. You press the pause Lap button. Lap 12, 12. And it puts you into rest mode. So you can actually see your rest timer and your repeat on timer. Lap 13, 07. And then the other key thing is drill mode. So scroll down to find drill mode and then um, lap button to start. Lap 14, 10. And then when you finish, it asks you how many metres you've done. It always remembers the last one you did. So if like on um, the last session we did on Monday night, we did eight lots of 25 metres kick, it remembers 25 metres. Um, so you only have to press 25 metres once. And then on the next lap, lap 1503. it's remembered that it's done 25 metres. Then when you've finished your entire lap set, 1618. that's when you press the stop button and stop it and then save the session or in this case, discard the session. Okay, hope that helps. Any questions, drop me a PM. Cheers.